Okay, so now we're going to be let loose on a member of the family. So we want to make sure we've got it right after lots of practice. So we're going to get that cut sound on the shoulder and we're going to start cupping one shoulder at a time. Get some feedback from your client or relative to say what, how the pressure is. We don't want it too firm like that and neither do we want it so light we can't feel it. Somewhere in between is what we're looking for. Then we're going to change to hacking, so relaxed karate chop. And we want to be right on the top of this muscle. This is the trapezius muscle of the shoulder. We don't want to be so much on the bone, so we want to be on the muscles on the top of the shoulder. And we're just going to move, if we can, just a little bit from side to side, covering this shoulder. And then we're going to go for beating, so relaxed hands, palm down, beating. Maybe covering a little bit more area around this shoulder. Keep your elbows in and your wrist relaxed. Then we're changing to pounding. So again, we're not knocking on the door. We're keeping a nice relaxed hand and we're going to pound on top of the shoulder. And then coming across to the other side, getting that nice cut sound. We're going to even up the shoulders. And we're going to cut on the top mainly, just around that shoulder. Certainly not on the spine. So we're going to cut, then we're going to hack. You usually find one shoulder's a little bit tighter than the other. So we're hacking. And then we're beating. And then we're going to be pounding, so having that relaxed Around, around the shoulder and then just finish with a bit of compression. 